This is Doofy McButterscotch, and we're here to return to movie reviews. Now I'm going to tell you what I think of the original Mission Impossible. Now this one, uh, let's see. Uh, I think it's safe to say this one might be my favorite. I mean, I can't really remember a whole lot about it. I mean, I know John Voight was the main villain. Is all about being a spy and doing a mission that was allegedly impossible and beating uh, the bad guy. Tom Cruise doing some ridiculous stunts and a little bit of comedy. And that's about it. Nothing too special about this one. It's better than Mission Impossible 2, but it's not as good as some of the James Bond movies out there. Rain Man. Now, this movie also stars... Dustin Hoffman as the mentally challenged guy that can uh, count cards and win you a shitload of money at Vegas. But I thought this movie was, uh, I mean, those movies about the mentally challenged, they mostly make me sad, but this one wasn't too bad. I mean, they made it bearable to watch. I mean, Dustin Hoffman's performance was pretty darn good. I mean, he, I think, out of all the actors in the world, Dustin Hoffman has the most range out of any actors on here, because, I mean, Tom Cruise, he's always Tom Cruise in his movies. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's always Arnold Schwarzenegger in all of his movies. Uh, let's see. Let's see, there's a lot of actors, like Bruce Willis, he's, he has no range at all. He's always Bruce Willis in all of his movies. But Dustin Hoffman is different every time. We'll get to his list in a little bit, but I think he's one of the best actors in the whole world. But I thought Rain Man was pretty damn good for a drama movie. It was good. Top Gun, I wasn't really into this movie that much. I mean, it was kind of... A bit boring to me, but it's all about flying around in jets. It had 80s music. I guess back in the day when this first came out, it would have been good. But nowadays, by today's standards, I mean, it's aged quite a bit. I mean, the jets are really old looking. The music is old. Val Kilmer is kind of a real old guy now, so watching him when he was young, he just kind of looks like a joke. Top Gun isn't really the best movie out there anymore. It's aged a lot over the years. Minority Report. What was this one about? Oh, yeah. It was, uh... It's one of the most recent movies on this particular list, not in recent times, but it's all about Tom Cruise being a cop and trying to stop crimes before they even happen. They got this one little futuristic machine that detects crime, and before it has a chance to happen, they catch the criminals, and one of the first things they showed was uh, a man getting ready to kill his wife because he caught her cheating on him, which was a crime that probably should have gotten committed, but it didn't. It was stopped by the Minority Report. And eventually, the Minority Report turns on Tom Cruise, and he's alleged for doing a crime. And we go through that shenanigan all over again of the, the good cop having to go up against his own colleagues and all that stuff so it's just a redo and rehash of that with futuristic special effects so it's not really a must watch you can go through life without watching minority report and you're not going to miss out on a whole lot there's no famous catchphrases or anything a jerry Maguire is a different story because uh there's that one catchphrase of course which is Show me the money! Yeah! It's probably one of the worst attempts at that catchphrase. But, you know, they got that and they also have You Had Me At Hello. They got two famous catchphrases, so 
if you want to watch this for historic value, you should. And it's also, it's all about a guy who's an agent for uh, Cuba Gooden Jr. before he started to suck. And uh, he's, it's a good movie. Jerry Maguire is a good movie. It's all about Tom Cruise. He's the main star. And he's an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Nope. He's just a regular agent for celebs. It's good. It's a good movie. If you're planning on being an agent, you gotta watch this movie because it's gonna help you a lot. But if uh, you're not trying to be an agent, uh, you should probably just watch this for historic value. Up next, we got The Firm. Wait, did we already do The Firm? I can't remember if we did. We might have. We might have. Let's see, did we do The Firm or not? I don't know. I. If we did, I'm just going to redo it. If we didn't, oh well. All right, The Firm, it's all about Tom Cruise being a lawyer, getting hunted down by a whole bunch of people, and running for his life, trying to defend himself, and getting a whole bunch of people. It's a good movie, but it's not really uh, the greatest. A few good men. That one also has a catchphrase in it. You can't handle the truth. It's, uh, it's also got Jack Nicholson, Demi Lovato, I mean Demi Moore, and let's see who else. It's got Kevin. Wait, hold on, we already did this. A few good men. We already reviewed this one with Kevin Bacon. Holy shit. Whoops. Interview with the Vampires. We already did that one, too, with Antonio Banderas. Okay. Vanilla Sky. Well, you know, it's all about this one little boy who orders a vanilla ice cream and then throws it into the sky, and then the credits roll. Not really. All right. What it's actually about is something just as irrelevant as the plot I just told you about. It's kind of... It's a weird movie. It's all over the place. You will never see vanilla ice cream or a vanilla flower in this entire movie. You'll see the sky when they're outside, but it's not really relevant in the story at all. It's just a weird-ass movie with an entangled plot that goes all over the place. It's got, let's see, Cameron Diaz in it. She's doing her thing, and there's not a lot to say because it's just one of those weird sci-fi movies that's all over the place. Anyway, wow, we got done with that one a lot quicker than when I thought I was. Tom Cruise, what do I think of that guy? Well, my mom hates Tom Cruise because he broke up or divorced from Nicole Kidman, which is her favorite actress, so she hates Tom Cruise. And, I mean, he's just a okay actor to me. I mean, he he's Tom Cruise in all of his movies, like I said before. And, uh, he's not terrible, but I did watch that musical he was in not too long ago. That one rock and roll movie. I thought it sucked balls. It was horrible. You had Alec Baldwin and a whole bunch of other stars in it, but Tom Cruise in that one rocker movie, it was atrocious, and I think he's average. Up next, we've got Robert De Niro, and that's all, folks.